the Geishal ghost. When the houses shake in the midnight blast, and the inmates lie in a slumber fast, when the fair trees wave like a funeral plume, and the earth is veiled in the deepest gloom, then a form is seen in a blaze of light as it dashes along through the murky night, and the trembling wayfarer stands ever aghast when the phantom flies like the lightning past. Some say it is a warrior cruel who died and is punished for his hate and pride. Can it be a chief of O'Connor's clan who fell at his post in the battle's van? Or is it O'Dempsey come back to claim the lands long lost to his house and name? Brave Harriman or Heber that fought here of old for Aaron's proud scepter, the bright crown of gold? Or the poor honest man who was found in the snow, murdered and robbed on the road long ago? Or one of the hordes that in da dark days intended to capture the fort by a lady defended? But she had the blood of the bold Geraldine, and her home and her honour would never resign. As Geishals, the home of a temperance band, ranking second to none in the Emerald Land. I'm sure Bacchus can ne'er be allied with the spirit, so bright is each laurel and medal of merit. A man that is learned once tried to explain. To a rustic I know, but he tried all in vain. It was nothing, he said, but a luminous gas which arose from decay in the boggy morass. But the peasant replied, sure you must be an ass, for the gas in the town never flies down the streets to frighten the wits out of all that it meets. The philosopher frowned, but he spoke not a word, for his reasoning, he thought, looked a little absurd, and as vulgar and wise have failed to agree, we're left still in doubt as to what it can be.